Hello there! Our man is back with another quick update on the castle project. There's not a lot that I did do yesterday. I did take a small break from the game, um, so I didn't have enough time to do as much as I wanted to do, or I didn't spend as much time working on the castle, I should say, because I did want that break, and I do... And, and I still am probably going to slow down. I am looking at other games to play. Um, kind of deciding where I'm going to go stream and, and, and what I'm going to play. But anyway, let's, but there were a couple of projects that I did that I thought warranted an update video. I was going to wait to do one tomorrow when I had more content to bundle up between yesterday and what I may or may not be doing today, but there were a couple of cool projects that I did want to show off. Now, I believe this house was here yesterday. Um, just another, uh, another house. Um, still messing around with roof angles and turns and twists and this one is a another multi-layer one still kind of having fun with that idea um, basically just two rooms maybe three this back this back area could easily be turned into another bedroom uh, no new contraptions nothing of that sort but out the front gate it's a beaten path leads around the corner to the edge of the forest we have a log cabin a logger's cabin a little place for the men in the town come out to gather the wood for the town to to live while they work because if I remember correctly loggers they do tend to work in shifts um, to gather the wood to mill the wood maybe Although they probably are not going to be milling the wood out here. If they were, we'd need another windmill, and there's no real point having that out here if we have one inside. Um, even if that one's probably so close to the farm that it's set up for grain, still kind of checking that out. Anyway, um, to get this effect of the log cabin, and I have a couple of missing logs there. Sorry, sometimes I, I know I had those filled in, but um, since the patch especially, little things are disappearing on reloads. So if you're having the similar problems, let me know. Leave something in the comments. I'm, I'm curious. Anyway, to get this facade, on the inside, yes, it is just a regular building. It is sitting, sitting on a stone slab. So, covered all that up, because... And the reason I... I, I one of the main reasons, anyway, that I put the real building on the inside is A, structural integrity, and B, I wanted that hay roof. I really wanted that hay roof. I really think this was the way to go with it. Look at the appeal. If we had the uh, lower-pitched roofs that we've seen in the loading screens and the trailers and whatnot with all the other things that we wish we had, probably would have just made a single slant up to the front, but the, the peak still works. A uh, small roasting fire on the outside because log cabin... Eh, I don't really feel like cooking on the inside of a log cabin. Um, little cart, front wheels are on a hinge, uh, bridles for horses. Uh, the gate is too heavy to lift by this handle, so I need to figure something out. I don't want to put a rope drum on this. And I'll figure that out over time. Now the other large project that I wanted to show off in today's update is this church that we have built. I am very proud of this. A lot of people in my stream are very, very happy about how this came out. A lot of arches. Now it's not perfect, but the, it has a lot of the things that I wanted. A lot of arches, a lot of steeples lined pews, all that in the front, the uh, cardinal or the preacher's podium, and some large statues for effect. I tried to put the statue on the back of the stage, unfortunately, that just never ended well for the, uh, for the back wall and the statue, no matter what I did. So, the double offset is pretty good. I'm happy with the podium. Um, I still might do some tweaks. In here, I would have liked to have used the, ro the round pillars, but those are still broken. Uh, like originally, case in point, originally these the, the large arches here were sent to the ground with the round pillars. Now, as soon as I put this one corner on to attach it all together, 
the entire arch would hang off the side wall, but the round pillars would crumble out from underneath it. For no apparent reason, just they would crumble away. The things that they were holding up would still be there, and they'd crumble. Like, that does not make any sense. And, uh, oh, one, one other thing. I, I feel like I've had a pretty good run of luck with night mode. Um, there were some side torches in here, but uh, I've had some problems with the torches in this building. I don't know if it's because they're too close to walls or too close to the chairs or what have you, but we'll, st we'll still be working on it. Um, I also had did have chandeliers hanging off the ceiling. Those were not giving off any light. As you can see, just a little trick from the old tavern of hanging lights off of these wood posts. Let's, let's, uh, let's just check and see if today, oh, if today it wants to hang the lights in the way that I would like for it to. See, are we getting light off of that? See, we're not getting any light off of that. I don't know what's going on. But there are problems with lights too close to other objects, walls, and whatnot. As, as I'm learning from, from at least this building but it still requires further testing, and when I know more, I will definitely get back to you on it. But anyway, that's my update, my little log cabin that I'm very happy with, my little church that I am very happy with. I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, hope to see you tomorrow on the next one, the day after. I'm, I am still probably going to cut back my amount of video engineer's playtime, but I do hope you uh, keep sticking around. Because I, I do like this game, and I will be updating it. Um, even if I do cut back, I will still be playing this. Anyway, thanks for checking me out. I've been Armanis. Uh, feel free to hit that like, dislike, or subscribe button. Catch you later.